So, what are we doing today? Uh, <laughs> this is going to end up being a water wheel at some point in this process. We've got a bunch of junk here that most people would probably just throw away. And I'm going to try to make it produce electricity. Now, what we have... This is a transmission from a riding lawnmower. See, that's the wheels on it and everything. Those, those will have to be cut off and the axle will have to be tied in to this. This is a wire reel. This is plastic. It's uh, probably a whole lot better to use plastic when dealing with water because wood will rot away. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do the, the veins yet. I'm going to have to have something going across all the way around it not sure what i'm going to do with that yet but you know we're working on it i'm mainly worried about the transmission part which is this um in order to suspend the reel wire reel wire spool whatever you're going to call this big thing we're going to use some of y'all may remember i replaced the wheel bearings in the old cava cruiser and these are the old ones. They will be fine for this project. They'll, they'll work just fine. Uh, these will actually, I'll knock the rest of these out. And it can turn right over like that. Go right down that hole. This one will sit more straight. Go right down in that hole. And then I'll screw into it all the way around. Or may just use those same bolts. That would probably be better. That's what I did with the last one. Just leave these bolts in it looks like they will actually clear around the circle just barely so yeah i think i can do that just drill the holes that way the center part can be mounted to whatever you want and your output shafts can come right out of here because this will spin with the wheel and this will mount to the frame that will hold it up and the frame will be built from some combination of, these are trampoline poles. This is a uh, part of the trampoline frame. I have more, not a whole lot more, but I've got a little bit more of that if we need it. I also have some electrical conduit. Y'all probably knew electrical conduit was going to come into this somewhere. It always does in all my projects. Um... Uh, here are some of the, there's the bus that I cut those out of. These are the seat brackets for the bus. And I figure they'll make some good mounting points. Maybe weld a couple of these onto those. I was planning on using these for the main upright frame. And then maybe welding a couple of these on. So that we can bolt through these holes onto that frame that way this will be held on the side it will probably the end of the axle shaft will have to come into these or maybe even run through another pulley system but this will be spinning a lot faster than these than this axle will so it will speed up enough to run maybe this we may change to a different motor but this is a starter motor for an old generator um, it'll run and it also it was the starter and it was the alternator for it too it would start it and then once it got started then it would start charging the battery back up and also it would run uh, the other 12 volt stuff that the generator needed so that is pretty much what we have as far as materials so far um, I'm just gonna play around with it and see what we can do now first thing one of the first things we need to do this transmission this is the gear shift forward and reverse okay this is pretty hard to turn 
I don't know why, but it's kind of jamming up in there. Probably doesn't have any lubrication or something. It will probably be pretty easy to fix, so I just have to get in there and play with it. But see, if you change directions, whichever direction that that generator puts out the most power, we can switch it to that one. Or we can even switch it to neutral in order to work on it or something. If we got to take this belt off, we won't have to stop the water wheel. We can just throw this thing in neutral and it won't, you won't have to worry about it. You can take the belt off or whatever. But that is, uh, that's our next little project there. Just try and do a little update and we'll get started on that. <laughs> Okay, that has all of those free. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah, I didn't have to take it off anyway. This moves pretty freely. You can see it all kind of needs cleaned up, but it moves freely. So that is not the source of our resistance. I'm thinking it's these bushings. Okay, another thing. This is a differential. And we real see, you can see that I'm going to turn one wheel this way. The other one will turn that way. And this does not spin. Which means that if I hook the water wheel up to one side and have a load on the output shaft, then when you put power on this, it's going to just spin the other wheel so we don't want that we want to fix this differential where this is more or less just a straight through axle out just like that there is water in this case there are wheels Hmm. You can see how this transmission works with this shifter over in this position. This one turns with it in that position. That one turns. Okay. And the output shaft actually on the lawn port on the lawn mower it is the input shaft that comes in here the power comes in and goes out through the wheels of course in our case this is going to be the output shaft the power is going to come in through these and this will be where it comes out so yeah anyway we'll, we will clean this up weld up that differential see what we can do now this is the differential I've got it all cleaned up. I've got my little thing of solvent here that I used to clean it. And the way that this comes apart, there's a bolt that goes through a bushing like that, down through here, another bushing, a washer, and a nut on the other side. So now that I got that figured out how to get it apart, these little gears in here 
are the ones that mesh with the axles. There's two gears, one on each side, and then a gear here and a gear on the other side of this differential. Now I think if I can weld right around here, just bind the case to the gear, flip it over and weld on the other side, I believe this differential will be locked and I can still put my bolt back in and make sure my axles are locked in. Uh, I guess you can take all this apart and weld everything up and all that, but I don't think I need to do that. I think I just need to weld that, flip it over and weld the other side, stick the bolt back in and be done with it. So let's get a welder and get to work. Okay, now, uh, <laughs> we got it welded. I think it may be hot, I'm not sure. Something tells me that that's pretty hot. Anyway, you are not gonna spin these wheels opposite directions now. It is locked. All right, let's... Better than it was. I didn't get every ounce of grease out of it. I'm only putting grease back in it, so should be okay. I am gonna clean these gears. And these bushings. So this thing is gonna start over all new. Or with all new uh, grease in it. All the old grease out of it. Now I'm going to put like 90 weight grease in it. I know it had the thicker stuff before. But it is going to be wanting to run uh, a lot freer now. And this is a lot lighter weight oil. And should still lubricate everything just fine. That should be plenty right there. Okay. Now, let's put this back together and see how it does. Now we have our transmission freed up so that I can turn it just using one finger. Before, I had a hard time even getting it to move. A big part of it was this little brake was holding pressure on it and not letting it spin. So I probably could have fixed that by just pulling the brake off and oiling it up, but we're not going to use this brake. Not that I know of. In the future, maybe, but now, right now, no. Right now, we're going to have this as the water wheel transmission. <laughs> now, these, wheel, these wheels have been welded on. Uh, I'm not going to cut them off just yet. Uh, I, I didn't weld them on. I don't know who did. Uh, I got this transmission for free from somebody and they were already welded so not really much I can do about it except for I guess I can cut them off but I want to uh, get everything set up first and see how I'm going to hook to it first before I go cutting those off I may need to use them maybe wrap a belt around the 
rim or something. I don't know yet. So I'm not going to cut those off just yet. Now, uh, our next step will probably be putting the fins in, taking the reel apart and putting the fins in between. Got an idea for that, but you have to wait till the next video. <laughs> so I guess that's probably going to about do it for this one. Appreciate everybody watching and I'll see y'all on the next one.